Hi boys! And welcome to Survival Fountain of Youth. So this is a new survival game. Uh, survival Crafter by the looks of it. And it's in the Steam Next Fest. And um, it looks interesting. It looks very The Forest-esque. True survivor, one life. Okay. Um, let's just, uh, let, we're just going to get into it. I have no idea what's about to happen. But, uh, I, I want to say this is the one that Chubbs keep, kept telling me that I got to try. What I don't remember. I really don't remember, but it might be, but maybe not, but probably not, but maybe, but could be, but I don't know, but I don't remember, but it looked pretty good. Um, from the things that I saw about it, from things that I, uh, read it, it looked relatively good. Um, it's been a while since I actually found a decent survival crafter just in general. So, uh, the last one being honestly green hell and Green Hell VR is out. I had a chance to get a code, and I didn't take it. This story is inspired by real events. According to historic records, on March 4th, 1513, three ships sailed from Puerto Rico. They were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer Juan Ponce de Leon. The goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary Fountain of Youth. Okay. It all began in Puerto Rico when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to Indian Chief Gaibana in the war against other tribes. Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people. A legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini lies the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will get health and youth for many years ahead. Chief also gave him an ancient map covered with Indian inscriptions. The map showed an undiscovered group of islands. The location to search was clear. But inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. Okay. Nice uh, setting. Starter. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I had a I had a chance to get a code for Green Hell VR, and I I passed it up because my VR is dead. I don't want my VR bike. But no, like this this game looked like it was gonna be really good. It looked like a a good successor. The um, captain took faith in the Indian legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors have volunteered to join this venture. Three ships, Santiago, Santa Maria, and San Cristobal, sailed off. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map will lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The trip to the islands took almost a month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. The very islands from the map. The expedition was one day away from its goal. If I faint, my max health will decrease. To restore it, I need to drink, find and drink a bottle of living water. Is that considered Fountain of Youth water? Is that the old Fountain of Youth juices that I'm talking about there, thingamabobber hoo hickeys? Um... Good, good settings that it like. Good, good story setting, placement, stuff. Listen, I've I've been recording literally all day. My words are not working. I should have probably done this like earlier in the day because it's gonna have a lot of stuff. But alas, here we are. Right, a meow. And, uh, 
I'm really hoping that it turns out to be pretty good. Oh, yes. The snoring man next to me did not wake up. Prepare for the council. Okay. Am I Ponce de Leon? Wake up, you piece of shit. Get up. Get out of here. Go. Get. All right. This is the last will and testament. In case I die at the hands of savages or from old age or for any other reason before the miraculous fountain of youth is found, I sign over to the holy church my property, namely a pair of boots, two shirts, a pair of pants, all undergarments, and a salary owed to me if the expedition is successful. Please consider Captain Ponce de Leon to be my executor of my will. Uh-huh. Sure. Um, Dancer, you're, you're in the way. Are you looking for the fountain of youth? I don't, I don't know if you can get yeah, there. Hi. You... Ma'am, I don't want your tail hitting me in the face. Thank you. Yeah, all right, well. What? No, okay. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Okay, so I can run, sprint. Can I pick up a helmet? Listen. If I were me and me in any way of me dumb, I would put on a helmet. Because then you can use that. Oh, wake up, you lazy piece of crap. Get out of here. Come on. What do you think this is? A ship that you can... Oh, my God. Are you sleeping with your eyeballs open? Are you blind and you're sleeping with your eyes open? Ooh. You sack of crap. Get out of here. Come on. Get Wake up. Come on, I'm gonna... Yeah, get up. Ah, uh, yeesh. You think this is a ship you can sleep on? No, 24-7 awakeness. Now, all right, let's go. Oh, where'd you get that pillow? Did you steal it from my room? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, scar, oh, scar. All right. Hey, feeling pretty good. Anybody else need punched? No, nobody else? All right, but... Ah, oh, you thought you could get away from me. Huh? You thought you could get away? Jim? Jim? Yeah, yeah, you get an extra one right in the ear. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I got to get to the bow of the ship. Hello. I'm going to go to the aft of the ship because I don't want to go to the bow. No, I want to go. Okay. Really pretty visual so far. I really like it. So I can't imagine. So like, in this day and age, right? We have the capabilities of traveling literally around the world in a couple of hours. Meanwhile, just a couple of years ago, just a couple- hey, You lazy sack of crap! Get out of this! Now, what do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be the watchman! Get up! Get out of here! Come on, let's go! Oh, sorry, just pooped on you. But, if you really think about it, like, sailing around the world like this, right? Ah, oh, I passed it. Ah, oh, guys, I passed it. This took months, if not years, to do. And you were, like, people hate being cooped up in a, in a place, like, just in a plane, we'll say, with people for, for a couple hours. Could you imagine if you had to be cooped up with the same people for months? If not years? Ah, past the map. Oh, uh, yeah, I can smack people with my map. I can go to the captain's cabin, huh? Well, don't mind if I do. I am Ponce de Leon, after all. 
This captain's captain? Captain? Captain. Aha! Captain. Ah, of course. Of course, it's me. I knew exactly where my cabin was. Let me close the door so nobody else can intrude. Let me... No, I need a... I need a flint. Indian artifacts, Snoop. On the islands we explored, we found numerous traces of the Indian culture. Of special practical interest are strange, ornate flasks with unusual water inside. We found two absolutely identical bottles on two different islands. Both were filled with water. Out of curiosity, I drank from one of the bottles. It was surprisingly fresh and delicious, almost like it was water. Within two days, all my old scars began to heal, and I started feeling years younger, stronger, and healthier. I cannot stop thinking about this water. Perhaps these flasks are somehow connected to the fountain of youth. What if this is the living water that Guibana told me about? Just in case, I will leave one bottle in my chest. Captain Ponce, Juan Ponce de Leon. Thank you. A little too hard on my chest. <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right. Uh, is this the flint? Oh, good. I'm glad I found the flint. You know, I really should open this chest. Oh, good. I found found the sword. Baby, you light up this room like nobody else. I'm gonna take all of this stuff. Can I put this away? It's just kind of in my hand right now. All right, expedition log. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna read all of this, but you guys are gonna get the quick version. All right, and by quick version, I mean you guys are gonna probably hear me go through this and now. Uh, very sped up, probably 300% to 350% speed reading version. Highlighted entries. May 17th, 1513 AD. The crew of the Santa Maria is on strike again. This time, the team did not agree with the captain's decision to cut their weekly portion of rum by half. The head of the expedition, Ponce de Leon, had to once again cross from our ship, Santiago to Santa Maria, to calm the crew. May 24th, 1513 AD. We finally reached the island. Scientists have not yet fully deciphered the Indian map, so we do not know which island we are looking for. Therefore, the captain ordered us to land on each island and look for traces of the Fountain of Youth there. May 28th, 1513 AD. To, uh, today, we landed on another island. There was no Fountain of Youth there either, but we found a second unusual flask with Indian symbols on it. The flask was delivered aboard Santiago. It looks exactly like the, the one we found a week earlier on another island. Captain Ponce de Leon was very interested in these artifacts. May 29th, 1513 AD. At night, one of the expedition ships, the uh, San Cristobal, was ripped off the anchor and carried away by the current. Apparently, the crew underestimated the strength of the new current and did not prepare properly. We pray for a favorable wind for our comrades so they can catch up to us as soon as possible. June 2nd, 1513 AD. We found another island. It is big enough, so Ponce de, uh, gave it a name, Island of Hope. On a cursory of examination from the ship, the captain noticed an interesting grotto on the island. He ordered the cartographer to sketch it and study it for first when looking around. They decided to schedule landing for the next morning. In the meantime, we were ordered to move away from the coast so that mi the missing San Cristobal could see us in case it catches up to with us today. Ugh. So if you guys wanted to read the expedition logbook yourself, pause the video. I hopefully gave you guys adequate time to pause and read each one. It's a lot of reading. I want to get to the survival part. Take the sword! Go out the window! Take the grotto plan? Okay. 
get items from the chest. Bag of provisions. I can take two items. Pistol with ammo, iron spear, iron axe, leather backpack. Leather backpack is going to be nice. An iron knife, living water. Okay, so hear me out here. I'm going to go with the iron axe. Jump through the window. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the reason I took the axe and not like the provisions or something and why I took the backpack. Over, like, so the axe and the... Uh, the storm came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for it. Strong winds and giant waves appeared in a split second and slammed the ship. The sails broke apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped out of their beds and tried to save the ship, but it was too late. Okay. So, so my, my thinking here is the leather backpack, I'm going to be able to carry I more. I up on a sandy shore. I could not remember how I ended up on this beach, but I was alive and full of hope that my friends were somewhere nearby. I'm naked. So I can carry more stuff. So I can carry potential food and like wood and anything else that I need to be able to survive, right? And then I can use the axe to be able to crack open like coconuts and anything else and be able to also protect myself, right? So it's a good starting foundation to be able to do anything. Like, like I'm going to have to immediately go and try to find like food and water and like provisions and make myself a shelter and everything else. But I at least am going to be able to carry stuff and also be able to like provide for myself on top of it all. Right. So that that's my thinking in it. Uh, like I, I don't see a point in taking anything else because the ax can be used as a weapon. It can be used as a tool more so than a knife could like i can whack a coconut you know and crack open a coconut and drink the juices from the coconut and then eat the insides of it like the little shavings on the inside you know and uh i then i can use the outer shell of the coconut for a bowl you know like that listen i played a lot of survival crafter games and i actually know some survival tips uh, like I, I feel like that's a smart move. I also feel like you probably could have taken something else, especially since there was the backpack in there. You could have thrown the backpack onto your back, or or put stuff into the backpack, and then thrown the backpack onto your back. But you know, what do I know? I mean, I guess you did have very little time. Oh hey, I got an achievement. There's achievements in this demo. Is this a demo? How the heck did I get an achievement in a demo? Wait a minute. What? Where's the ton of achievements? Spend two hours in game. What? 22 achievements in this? Holy crap! Captain. Cap. <laughs> Capitan? That is me, after all. Find a green coconut. I found a green coconut. Crap coconut water. Uh... Coconut water. Crap. Okay. 
drink coconut water. How do I drink the coconut water? Ah, just double click it. Got it. Raise food value to 50%. Just grab some more coconuts. Ah, crabs. Come here, crab. Crab legs, anybody? Come here. Oh, I lost the crab. Mushroom tinder. Very good. Very good. Can use that to start a fire. I don't have a flint. I'll have to find a flint. Uh. What the hell? What are you? Jordy or dog? I not there's no resources on Okay, so I gotta pay attention. Ow. Ow! Oh, there's a scorpion! There's a square bonnie. Seriously, why can't I take that like dog thing and hook it up, man? There's a chicken. Let's take some stones. Okay, so those things can see me a mile away. Where am I going to get food? Oh wait, blueprints, coconut water? No. Leaf hat, leaf skirt. Plain egg ointment, okay, interesting. Stone cutter, interesting. So I feel like I'm gonna need to stick to the beach for a little bit. I think I can get ripe coconuts from palm trees, mollusks. Uh, maybe found on the beach. Oh, so I gotta go find a coconut tree. You know, if I read that first, I probably would have you know, found it and been smarter. I got sunburned. What are these? Ooh, 
food. Okay, well, we got some stuff at least. Arrow leaves. Grab these. Build a primitive bed out of leaves. Need five. Can I not get leaves out of this? signal fire. Okay, so I need to... Uh, it's time to do it. Okay. Oh, I can just do that. Okay. Oh, fire starter. Here we... Oh, I don't have any twigs, so... Find the survivor. Okay, but I need to build a signal fire. How do I build a signal fire? Using the little yellow leaves. Imagine I'm gonna need a fire starter and like other things. Um, drop that. I don't think it does anything for me. Nope, missed. Okay, so that's how you throw it. Gotcha. On shell. I need some sticks. Um, common log. I need I need like sticks. That's what I need For like a fire start. Oh, here we go. that stuff we got our bed right here this is a pretty good spot to hang out in right oh over there can i pick this up no hold on how do i how did i look at that again so I'm like back here. Cause look at that right there. 
So it's over that way? Ah, uh, it's dependent on my stamina, gotcha. Nope. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, what's up there? Skyrim climb. Get your get your stamina back, sir. No, it looks like I won't be able to Skyrim climb up there. I bet you that's like where I'll come out at, or I'll look over that beach. So far though, like, I, I'm really kind of liking the, the whole aspect of this, right? Like, they're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, here we go. Look, the grotto. It works. I got an achievement. What is the it worked achievement? Unlock 20 recipes. Oh, I apparently got 20 recipes. Oh, sugar on my ass. some fuel um like fire starter first oh i need to make a fire starter Ooh. crafting fire starters Okay, so we found the grotto. And Ponce's letter. Our captain, Juan Ponce de Leon, also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. the grotto and made it his temporary shelter then he started to act quickly and decisively after building up the temporary camp the captain began to explore the island he named it the island of hope trip to the small nearby island, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left a note, then hurriedly packed and sailed towards the sound of the gunshots. 
he was in a hurry to help his team. In this hurry, he forgot his spyglass on the small island. It can be quite useful to me. Uh, to anyone who reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived the shipwreck and arrived here on a lifeboat. I'm leaving this note in case someone on my crew also survived. I've spent a few days investigating this island and I'm leaving a rough map and my notes about the island here in this grotto. The island is uninhabited, it's full of wild birds and animals, so be careful. I found ruins and other traces of an ancient alien civilization. Uh, Indian, sorry, not alien. This morning I was exploring a small island in the bay to the east and heard a distant cannon fire. This must be a signal from one of our ships. It sounds like it is close enough to the island. My rescue boat is still intact, so I will go there immediately to find survivors. P.S. Just before sailing, I noticed that I forgot my spyglass at the place where I heard this cannon fire. You can look for it. It is in a conspicuous place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend you take a good look around in clear weather before you go after me. The old Indian observatory at the top of the mountain would be the perfect place to do this. It is easy to find a white symbol above. It is from almost, uh, visible from almost any, everywhere. Okay. Leaving this bottle of the living water so that the person who finds it can restore their help, health if their ship wrecks. Good luck to you, friend. Uh, on this map, Ponce de Leon marked the approximate location of two water sources, the coastal gr grotto and the small island where he lost spyglass. Ca caption says that the spyglass remained in the place where fireflies are visible at night, location island of hope. Jeez, how long was he here for? Like, honestly. Okay. That's going to do it for me for right now. Um, really, really good game. Really good game. I, I'm i actually pleasantly surprised. Uh, a lot of the mechanics and a lot of the stuff in it is uh, very, very well done. Um, Ponce de Leon was here for days and I was on the same ship as him that got shipwrecked. I don't know. It seems a little weird. It seems like the story has a little bit of disconnect there, but I mean, it's a survival crafter game and you're there alone. So whatever the story kind of comes second on that part. But, um, yeah, that's, I I'm, I'm very surprised. Well done. Um, I'll leave a link the, to this down in the description below definitely go check it out i'm i'm actually very surprised that the demo itself has achievements honestly because most demos and most developers don't make achievements for their demos so that's really really impressive to me so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you thought down in the comments below make sure to hit that like button go out do something nice for somebody today and i will see all of you guys next time Bye, guys!